Hello everybody, welcome to the third quarter final of season 48, I think, <laughs> between Enzo and his Dark Elves and Sindane and his lizard men. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello, Dimmy. Hello, Jim. Uh, really exciting game we've got here. Um, we've got some Dark Elves against some lizards. Uh, difficult matchup. Like, again, it's I, I, I would not like to be the lizard in this particular matchup normally, but it's a, it's quite a nice lizard team, and he's got tackle mighty blow in a couple of places and break tackle. So, got some tools. Oh, it's forty-seven. Oh well, there you go. I was wrong in all three videos so far. Yeah, yeah. He's got he's got he's got two mighty two mighty blow tacklers, which is more than most lizards have. Um, and yeah, he's gone he's gone block mighty. Uh, most of yeah, he's got it? he's got a ton of mighty blow. Yeah, yeah. He's, this this lizard team is packing heat. <laughs> he is packing. <laughs> um, wow, instant oh, yeah. removal, and the only inducement is a babe for Enzo. Huge instant removal only on the worst Saurus, but still, great to get them down by one, isn't it? Oh yeah, it was Nelissius's amazing, well not amazing, amazingly TV efficient orc team. Wasn't it about to see what Enzo beat? Thanks Enzo. There's the tail and the tackle doing something. And lots of punches available. In 3D. Yeah, this is some weird hybrid DACA that I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? This is like this is yeah, what I mean, people it's... used to call an elf stall, right? Where you have one or two people back with a ball, and then everyone else fights, and then goes up. Like that's pretty normal. People have done that for years. It's only recently, yeah. it's only recently that the uh, that the DACA has come into prominence. Yeah, it was a perfect defense, and he, he jammed it, and that's how he got the tackle and tail on the other. And that's why. Yeah, pretty brutal. Yeah. Now you're just scrambling against a team full of strength four and guard and <laughs> tackle and tails, and it's just horrible, isn't it? Really nice shape. Really nice. I think it really is Wolf, that's another reason why I like it. It's gonna be amazing, guys! Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if pushing, oh, they have no squares of movement there. Doesn't say, I wonder if pushing there and then going here was a good idea, but... Who knows? They're gonna try and rotate to around? I would definitely rather. There's no wizard in plays there for Zendane. I would have. I would no, rather no. have this witch elf up here. Like, have this witch elf yeah. up here, right? Like this witch elf up here is so much better, making screens and everything. And okay, this guy makes the dodge off to get there. But you could have still had the witch elf there first, and then he could have dodged off to here. Because now, if this sidestepper goes down, there's a lot of pressure invited, isn't there? Looks like Zendane is not going for that. I was going to say, would you go for it though? Like, cause, like for me, lizards always want to be in front of the ball. They don't want to be behind it. No, but I, I just wouldn't like my opponent being able to do it. You know? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like you don't set up to make it an option, but like, do you take it as the lizards? I think I might. This is a fine play of blitz. I guess he got the blitz of sidestep guard, which is better. Be but um, I wouldn't have hated blitzing him, and then maybe he's just like, you, you know, putting. So like, you don't want to put skinks through because the, the witch elves would rackle them. So like, maybe I wouldn't. But maybe it's just one player, right? Maybe just one player. So maybe the break tackler, right? Put him down, see what happens. Thank you very much, Seabrawls. Welcome, Seabrawls viewers, to the CCL playoffs quarterfinal number three. Season 47, which of course I knew. <laughs> yeah, he didn't tell everyone it was 48. No, certainly not. Certainly not three times in a row. Brilliant having this strength guy, isn't it? To blitz every turn. 
makes such yeah, a difference against lizards. It definitely does. Wow, that was a big dodge to do before the others that are like, you know, because that was tail as well, wasn't it? Two three pluses, and these are both two pluses. And he makes this four plus, so I guess he's okay leaving these here, but that's... Yeah. It's pretty rowdy. A little bit. <laughs> the great gush, guys. <laughs> Thank she, <Raj>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one of those is on DT. I didn't see that. Yeah, I like going for that guy as well. Yeah, these are really nice shapes from Sindane as well. Yes. Sound like PC there. They are. They're good shapes. Uh, I can see every movement is pretty good. Yeah, he's putting his men in the right squares. Unbelievable, Jeff. French kiss. Fantastic. <laughs> Making it like, very difficult for Enzo to go anywhere. Yep. We could go for the two pluses through here. Do you think he'll go for the two pluses through here? He is going to go through the two pluses through here. How exciting. Will we see any snakes? Not yet. Move this first, right? He doesn't have to make any noise. This guy could have just come through for free. Full cage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> wanted to pass through the DT. Fair. Mm, interesting, interesting. Gets through, but it's almost like trap space, isn't it? In that he's going to get assailed from all sides now. It's going to be uncomfortable next turn. I mean, if he survives it, it'll be alright. <clears throat> like... Oh, interesting. I, I think I would have blitzed this guy, and then, you know, maybe he's moved people in a bit further. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean, like, because if the... If the Saurus gets stuck out on one side, then it's not that bad for... Uh, Enzo. I oh, bet he's gonna come all the way through here. Yeah, yeah, I quite like this. Gets the diamond tackle, tackle, on. tackle. But not sidestep. Oh. Big hit. I just see you just go, ugh. I just burped. Sounded just... like you'd just been hit. <laughs> yeah, I, I just burped. It's alright. I've got like hiccups. It was a hiccup. It wasn't a burp. It was like a hiccup. An unrestrained hiccup. That should have just been one GFI, right? And then this guy should have blitzed. To chain away the DT. Plim plom push. Maybe he could have just dodged everyone away or handed off or whatever. But oh god. Do you shoot a play, guys? <laughs> I happen to know that, uh, yeah, Enzo just timed out there and left. Left the ball completely unprotected. Oh wow. Side Great strap. strap. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? It's an, yeah. it's an interesting one. Let's see if it's punished. Who can say if it was good or bad? That's uh, GFI to 
take away this this is dodgy isn't it there's one in nine so to take away the sidestep so you get a punch in the mighty blow i guess it's reasonable because obviously you don't want you don't want to you don't want to uh, send in the uh how'd you fall to get I mean, worked it works doesn't it yeah but it might not have worked <laughs> but it might not have yeah interesting push direction i think i'd have just pushed this guy back Very so you good. had more tackle zones near the ball that were lizards Oh, it's a great scout for Enzo. I mean, it's a great scout for Sindane, isn't he, right? He's oh, a yeah, I do. Yeah. That was stunning, yeah, just dodge through. Yeah. See you later. Does the handoff? Potato? So. This guy can hit. Can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He needs to get chained one square. So this guy comes in there and you uphill this guy for a push. Is the play? Do you shoot a play, guys? But instead. Yeah, that should have definitely been a chain push, yeah. We do not shoot a play. Got his nerves, Jim. Maybe, yep. Thought the witch was standing, was not standing, cannot sidestep on the ground. So yes, this was a bit of a disaster. A bit of a disaster turn for Enzo there. Probably still should just dodged off the witch, right? To try and get a two-turn chance. You still, you've got to, you've got to force the score here. So that that witch should have just dodged away and ran back. Like you have to score the, two, you have to force the score here. Because uh, Zindin, I don't know if he's going to bang it in or not. But depending on what this looks like, you can, you know, you, what you tackle a, you can tackle this one. And then you've got four. Well, I guess you can't stall it, actually. It's pretty hard to stall. It'd be interesting to see if, like, you know, maybe you punch this guy, see if you just pow. And then you've got four guys here. You could blitz this one and then, like, go back and cage around the crocs somehow. Might have been worth thinking about it, but I think he just bangs it in. Like, does make that hit and doesn't get the pow. So, yeah, maybe that's what he was thinking. Fish for the pow there. And if you hit it, try and stall it. We might have seen the stall if he'd made the... If you'd made the power there. <laughs> yeah. So like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> you have to do the score forcing. Yeah, you, like you have to, like that witch elf. I know it was unlucky to to you know end up KOing itself, but I think if you get the witch back here or like here or whatever, then it's just definitely a score, isn't it? Whereas there was the chance yeah. I think of him coming back and stalling. Because this yeah. is not good. Giving giving dark elf the two turns is not good, really, is it? Like, obviously, it's good scoring on their drive. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, sometimes it's easier for Dark Elves to do a two-turn than an eight-turn. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, they are only move seven, so it's not that easy for them to score. Like, it's not as easy as it is for High Elves or Pro Elves or Wood Elves, but it's still pretty easy, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's one of them weird teams where, like... The hard part is the stalling part and not the actual scoring part. Like, you can almost score at will, but protecting the ball whilst you delay is the hardest bit. Yeah. Thing is, of course, Saurus do. Saurus being strength 4 are pretty good at getting in the way. <laughs> Defending the ball is super easy. Yeah, they are. And that's the thing as well, is Dark Elves don't really bang out Saurus. Do they? And they do have the strength 4 to blitz with, though, so... They sure can just get a stick in a guard and 2D the guy and go down the sideline. Tons of guard. Right on the button. Yeah. Yeah, the Dark Elf team's pretty nice, isn't it? Tons of guard. Missing movement and edge. Oh, Kevin Jordan, by the way. Uh, but yeah, this is a 
bad setup, right? This this witch elf is too far away for no reason. No knockdown, very sad. Jim sad. Could have passed it to this guy. Because, like, you've got to get up, right? You've got to get up field. You've got to make the rolls this turn and next turn. Mm. So it's a long way round, isn't it? It is the long mm. way round. Yeah. So, like, making double GFI, you could have just passed it to this guy and he wouldn't have had a GFI at all. Or whatever. Oh. Got to tag the break tackle. As horrible as it is getting smashed by Mighty Blow for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, everyone being these well these two both being sidestep and this one being sidestep, maybe this pretty dies. I like getting him into the score threat as well. Yeah, yeah, nice. Whoa, Croxy. So I guess the break tackle on this guy and get him in the way with like some skinks through behind. What's he doing? Is he gonna blitz? Right? This guy's gonna break tackle, blitz the strength four, I think. Ah, oh, like, oh, yeah, I like that. Reroll? Yeah. Jeez. Now it's just a 2D clear, isn't it? I guess. Oh, that's. Yeah, he gets uh, in. Um, so. Do you see the player, guys? He won he, these. Does he do one that? He's enough to do anything. He? he just dodged, didn't you? Dodge and he put dodges, the guard in. He dodges, puts the guard in. He 2Ds him, and then the Witch Elf blitzes him. Yeah, that's what I would do. He side steps there into there. So this guy moves up here first, so you punch him. Punch him in the face. Step one. Step two. Oh, no follow. No follow, doesn't matter, but we had a fail in step three. Yeah. Because this is exactly how he's going to sidestep. And imagine if it wasn't a power as well. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, that was like, that was a dodge. From tackle and diving tackle. Uh, whereas, yeah, this guard could have just come in there and powered him away. Like, maybe he's powered him. Whatever. Yeah. It was a pain, though, having to blitz the ball carrier. Like, there was no one else you could blitz with, so. Just obviously holding the power him on the, uh, on the blitz. Yeah, tough one. Yeah, that's pretty. Again, good shape. Good shape by uh, by Sindin. But yeah, I mean that was this this guy was totally free, right? So it definitely should have punched the DT. First. Is what it is. Oh. <clears throat> Crocs go smash! Nah, <laughs> <coughs> oh, boo. Boo. Has there been a blitz this turn? I don't think so. Are we going to see a dodge in and a surf? Is this string four then? We are. Fwaaah, Jim. Fwaaah. Fwaaah, high level blood bowl. You'd love to see it. We don't often get to see it. Liquid Blood Bowl. Uh, absolutely amazing. Nothing. <laughs> Standard. Hello, Pendle. <coughs> Amazons are not going to win Chalice this season, no. And, no. Spoiler. They're not going to win any season. <laughs> Right, so there you go, 1-0 at the half for Sindin. In the worst possible match, not really, obviously Wood Elves are kind of worse, but it, it's a bit different at like high TV, right? Because at high TV, like at NAF level where you're up against 
Raw dancers with strip ball and tackle, it's horrible. But at these kind of levels, it's not that bad because you've got a lot of mighty blow and tackle of your own, so like you can bang them yeah, out yeah. and they get a lot That's more desperate. Really, yeah, this what separates the teams. It's like this one has got two tackle mighty blow, which is not often seen on lizard teams, to be honest. It's oh. not often you see a lizard team as good as this, really. No. Although he's done absolutely nothing with it. <laughs> I mean, there is that, there is that, but then like he's also not been destroyed by claw mighty blow. Like. True. But you know, it's only an 11 man team from Enzo. Only an 11 man team, and he's, he's taken absolutely zero attrition. Oh, well, he's too busy scoring money, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Weird, weird uh, setup here. I don't like this setup particularly. It doesn't really seem like it's doing anything, does it? Uh, th there are some weaknesses there. It went to Kicks Yorkshire Kiwi, and it was very exciting. It was really exciting, actually. Yeah. Two plus sometimes, three plus sometimes. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a really good strategy. It does. Oh, I wouldn't have double skulled there. No, I wouldn't have. I would have, I would have triple skulled. I would have put in the assist for the Crocs block first. Oh. Personally. And, uh. Yep. Didn't you love it when someone uses a reroll and then like, suddenly they start doing all the stuff that they should have done before they even threw the block? Yep. <laughs> uh, oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> I've got to actually play Blood Bowl. Hmm. Yep, would have been pointlessly exposed on a 1 in 12 9 6. <laughs> Oh wow, so I, I would have thought about blitzing down this guy, right? The strength 4 blitzing this guy and coming through with a few, but he said he's run around the outside and just gone for this hit. Yeah, 1 0 down as well, right? What? I'm. Ooh, like, could he not. I guess he can go for the pickup, though. Right? Ooh! Ooh! This is rowdy, but I like it one more now. Super right. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 got it all to play for, isn't he? Really, it's like he's in a losing position. He's got to make some some risks. Not this one though. Yeah, I'm not sure about that dual fight because it. I guess it's <laughs> no, because it's I mean, it's freeing up the brave tackle. Yeah. And it's still not a screen, yeah, exactly, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. now, if you're gonna do the GFI, do you do it with the guard side stepper? Yeah. Do the GFI there, and then don't GFI with the witch. Yeah, because oh. that that square's just better for the witch anyway. Mm. And the balls on that. Oh, yeah. I guess there's synergy with the guard. Dodge stepper and the witch there. No, he didn't blitz off the. Uh, didn't blitz off this guy. Well, he just went for the uh, one in nine. Oof. And it. Ooh. Guess what happened, Jim? He didn't make it, Jim. It, 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 it's one of them things that happens one in nine times every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's bit him in the ass. <laughs> it's bit him in the derriere. <laughs> that is wild, isn't it? That is that is a wild thing to do. So I knew that because I lived in France. I knew that Derrière was asked. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, the long period I spent living abroad in France. Mm. Well, all of a sudden, this is horrendous for Sunday. It is really good for Enzo and uh, really good for the game health as well. Like for mm. viewing perspective. But yeah, there was definitely some mistakes made. I think uh, early. There's a turn order in. Yeah, I think I'd have just punched that skin to be honest. Rather than dodging away to here, I think I just punched it. Not really? Punched it. Yeah, and then obviously punched this guy. Hey, are you trying to tell me that that skink does something? <laughs> no, I would have just punched it. 
Oh, alright. Oblodge? Sidestep? Yeah, but you've got sidestep too, right? Yeah, but then your witch just and gets you've got slapped. Tackle. Your witch just gets slapped by no, tackle when you blow. Well, no, it doesn't. Look, this guy isn't. This guy isn't mine. The one behind him is. The one behind him is. Well, if he's blitzing my witch when I've got the ball here, I don't give a shit to be honest. <laughs> Why do you think he's blitzing that? Like, I don't know. He's gonna blitz. What the size stepper? No, he blitzes this witch elf anyway. That's what I would do. Yeah. So I mean, she's no. She's no more exposed or less exposed. Yeah, I guess and her being up there probably is another Saurus that's not down here. So. Mm. Maybe, yeah, if he, maybe, if he went, maybe you're right. Maybe yeah, right. he's going to hit her. No, he's not. He's going to hit the card. No, he's going to hit her. Yeah. And she she could have been up here, standing over a dead skink. <laughs> oh, and said it was her that was cursed. I don't think it was that. I didn't know what was going to happen. I honestly didn't know what was going to happen there. But uh, it's just out of punched. Yeah. And now he's faced with the blood stepper. He's gonna mm. fail to dodge off of <laughs> on a two plus. <laughs> oh, Jim's just told us already. I'm gonna look like I'm cheating now, but honestly, I just thought I would have just punched. I would have just punched without thinking it. Honestly, I would have punched without thinking, and then probably thought afterwards, "Oh, I shouldn't have done that." Okay, it gets the power. The scoring? No. 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 Enzo's got some balls. There's the argument is that you shouldn't stall here, right? There's an argument to be made for not stalling. Seeing as... What are you even doing it? You're only going to get one or two turns. You're not going to stall the whole half. So you're you going to get well banged on! Yeah, you might as well just score and get... <laughs> go for the win. Nope. No. No. Very patient turn from Sindane. Yeah. He's only got one reroll left though, hasn't he? So he's gotta be he's gotta yeah. be safe. Oh two plus three times. Oof. That's just the line home, isn't it? Yeah. Two plus three plus uh, of a line. I think it's up next, Sage, Sage, Sage. Yep, it's up next. Uh, this is the quarterfinal number three. And level ups was quarterfinal number four. Because we do them in order. Yeah, chronological order. There you go. The professionalism on this channel is uh, next to none. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And he scores with a blitz. So yeah, was that one turn of stall worth it? Hard to uh, say. We'll find out. <clears throat> Stay tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> Just Wait. after this ad break for seven minutes. <laughs> we'll come back on turn 16. <laughs> now he's down to seven players. Is it? No, nine players. I don't know why I said seven. Nine. Nine. For nine, nine. Let's see if he uh, sets up a little differently this time. Hmm. It was a really weird setup, wasn't it? Well, we'll just see. We'll see uh, how, like, if he noticed anything that he didn't like about it. I mean, obviously, it's a little bit different because he's probably less worried about banging things and more worried about scoring. Mm. Yeah. Tweak it a bit. But not much. No. P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Second worst kickoff event in the game. But well, actually, no, that's nowhere near. It's probably about like, <laughs> fifth or sixth. <laughs> that just shows how bad kickoff events are with perfect defense, isn't it? Like the top five. Yeah. With terrible kickoff events. Yeah. Yeah, solid defense in the next edition of the rules. Yes. Yeah, solid, yeah. And much more. It's much, much better more because you can't move the LOS. So. Yeah. So you still get banged on. Yeah. And obviously that doesn't like it doesn't just hard counter one turns then does it? Like so they so they nerfed natural one turners, but then they made them able to use multiple rerolls <laughs> per turn, and perfect defenses can't move their LOSs, mm. so that you can still score your one turn. So. 
I mean, arguably, it could be easier to score one turn in the new rule set than the old one. So. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Which is definitely not what the 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 rule was designed for, was it? It was supposed to uh, make natties a thing of the past, and <laughs> they made them pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can reroll as many of these uh, dice as you want, as long as it's not the same action. Yeah. <laughs> It certainly is choice. <laughs> it's insane, mate. It's insane. <laughs> and then just to add in the fact that like perfect defense can't even win it for you. Do you know what actually happened to me in uh, UKTC? Oh, that is pretty big, isn't it? Twenty-seven. But yeah, I mean, it's good gauge. Yeah. Failure state, see, Jim. He's playing failure state, sir. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, but you know what happened to me? I was playing against lizards, um, and. Obviously, like it got to the one turn on turn 16. Um, I put my mummies on the LOS because obviously it's res, you don't care about your mummies. And I put a ghoul mm -hmm. in the middle, like a blodge ghoul, not side step or anything like that. And then I we rolled on the kickoff event, it was a vicious ref. Mm -hmm. uh, and then your player gets stunned and he, like, unless you roll a one and he gets sent off, I rolled a one and he got sent off. So, <laughs> so <laughs> the only player he could literally push for his one turn was a mummy, and obviously that didn't work out for him. So. <laughs> but it was like literally the best ever. Like, because <clears throat> when you roll a Fisher's Ref, you have to roll like a d20 and obviously get rid of all the rest of the results and go right, number your players one to 11 or whatever. And whatever you roll, that player gets removed. And I rolled a two, which was the middle guy of the LOS, <laughs> which was just like a two out of eleven like possibility. And then I rolled a one in six to get him sent off and not like stunned or whatever. But it was hilarious, mate. It was a really funny time. Yeah. Guess you just had to be there, eh? <laughs> hey, bouncer. yeah. A bit like the swarm lord, mate. Yeah, a bit like the swarm lord. <laughs> Oof! Doesn't get the power. Yeah, that Cox. Imagine he was a fifth Saurus or seventh Saurus. Sorry. Yeah. Agi Skink's so good, isn't it? It's just ridiculous. Agi mm. on a Skink, like with Stunty, they just go wherever they want. Like it's. Bonkers, isn't it? So this bonkers. cage is open, but there's no. This one is a bit weird. Back, yeah. Is so. I feel like he's feeling pressure to get forward though. Which is weird because he can pretty much score from anywhere. Yeah. But it is difficult because the Saurus aren't going to push up as quick as the Skinks, are they? Mm. That's a horrible uh, one there. Oh, so he's going there to cancel and then just go for the uh, 4 plus thing. Yeah, off. 3 plus 4 plus, yep. Dodged off the thing. Could have just been 5 straight in. And fails. Gets KO'd. And now this is surely easy for Sindane. Surely easy. Surely, because these aren't sidestep or anything, so you can punch a hole, get through. Oh well. Oh right, now he's got the Kaz there. Yeah. But he can't follow though, so he's kind of in the way, isn't he? I mean, but he's he's edge four. Yeah, that's true. He just walks through it. Yeah. Doesn't care about any tackle zones. No. <laughs> I love that. I guess that you don't follow because the sidestep, right? <laughs> it can go anywhere. <laughs> but I love it when you get powered and they don't follow, and then they walk straight into the square that they didn't follow on. Like yeah. that's so. That's one of my favourite things in bubble. Yeah. It always makes me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I always do it as well because I never, I never yeah. follow because I can always just walk there if I want, can't I? <laughs> yeah. But then, like, like when you see people do it, and it's a GFI and stuff. Do you know oh I mean? yeah, like, yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's it's GFI, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, I don't follow, but I'm gonna take this GFI to go back to where I follow. <laughs> yeah. But it genuinely makes me smile when people don't follow and then follow anyway. Yeah, is there? There's no way to get this, is there? Um, I guess you could dodge in both of these and then uphill him for a push and then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. I guess that's the play. I'll base the ball for a one in 36. That's not basing. No, so the play, the play that then was to have... Uh, I guess Ooh. this is tagging. This is tagging for the one in 36. No, the play was definitely to dodge in here and dodge in, dodge in here. Uh, maybe... 
It's fucking hard though, isn't it? <laughs> it's fucking hard to dodge in. But that was the play to, to dodge into both of them and then uphill him for the push and then could have hit him because not hitting him, it's just irrelevant, isn't it? Like a 1 in 36 is... You can't bank on a 1 in 36 happening. I think it's much more likely... You're much more likely to stop it by making the dodges in and then chaining him and getting the powers. I uh, I lost a Rebel Playoffs game to a 1 in 36, Jim. Mm. No, the to dodges the guy who went on better. to win it as well, yeah. Oh. The dodges are definitely better, ends up. Let, let's let's sandbrick it now. Oh wow! So we've got dodge. <laughs> Brace um, yourselves, lads. Yeah, Strap in. Jim is using samba. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> it might be a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's something. It's going to be something like this. No, oh, it's hard with Frenzy. Yes, it is. Yes, Jim. The Frenzy makes it difficult, but it would definitely be more than 27% to get him down. So, pretty good. And that's definitely <laughs> better than a 1 in 36. Yeah, no, that's true. Rick would have done it all day, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. And there you go. And that is GG, unless there's a one turn, which... Riot. Or a riot. Yep, there could be a riot or a one turn. But the one turn, very unlikely. Those are strength fours and sidesteps and stand firm. Okay, he's putting the sidestep on the other ones. I would not bother with that. I, I do not care about move seven one turns, by the way. I would not put any one turn defense against this. I don't think it's worth risking your super skink at all. Mm, has he got an apple? I wouldn't care. <laughs> he does, but I still would not care. <laughs> but you know, we've already we've all seen me do one turn defences before. <laughs> yes. So, so maybe I'm not the person to listen to on that score. But I'm not sure if you can call it a one turn defence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's slander on one turn defences. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I can't that argue kick. with you. Look at that kick. Yep, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't it? There was that. never any chance. It was just just playing for a riot, which is fair enough. <clears throat> Gonna hit this guy though. Oh. Ah. Is he gonna appo it for the BM? No, because he can still get the Zubus King kill. Oh yeah. And, or technically as Crocs, you could just uphill the Crocs and try and murder him. That would be a funny BM play, wouldn't it? That would be pretty horrendous, yeah. <laughs> no, Skink Invincible. Skink Invincible! Yeah, commiserations Enzo. And congratulations in there. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> Soft play. <laughs> Soft play, Enzo, free season ban please. <laughs> Carry on! <laughs> Carry on! <laughs> Carry on! <laughs> it's, it's such a good SFX, isn't it? Um, well, there you go, that's good, Enzo. And uh, yeah, yeah, congrats in Dane. Commiserations, Enzo. And thank you very much, Dimmy. Absolutely glorious as always. Yeah, something, something, Amazons. Yep. And thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.